Hey guys, what's up? It's Phantom Sage. This is my first time doing a video like this, but uh, I figured it'd be kind of cool to start a commentary uh, series on this uh, little here thingy called the YouTubes. But anyways, I want to talk about something that's been going on for like a week now, and that thing is specifically fighting, fighting fights and fighting fights with your fists. Anyway, um, so there's these... There's these um, there's these kids at my at my uh, high school you see and uh, today during the daytime they were all like oh we're gonna go beat up this kid and I was like why what did he do and he's like he's like oh we, we just want to beat him up you know, oh, you know I'm, we're gonna we're gonna kick his butt and I being the upstanding citizen that I am went up to them and I said that's not right no that actually didn't happen I was just uh. I, I didn't say anything, actually. I just was listening this whole time. And they were talking about going after school, you know, to the slide, and little Jimmy and little Bobby were going were gonna to beat each other up. You know, well, they're, they're in the 10th grade, so I, I don't know. I mean, I guess they can do what they want. I don't really care what they do. Um, honestly, I, I see no harm in it, you know. I'm not promoting the boys will be boys mindset because that's stupid. But I am saying that these two weren't really the brightest people in the first place, so I mean, I don't really care what they do. And mind you, these are the kind of people that when they grow up, you can see them working at like a gas station or something. I can imagine going up to them and being like, oh yeah, uh, I need uh, 20 bucks on pump five. And they'll be like, oh, okay, oh, all right. And on top of that, I'm almost positive that these two spend all of their money that they get from their parents on drugs. Like, I hear them talking about it all the time in class, so I'm, I'm actually, I know it, it's true. So anyway, I heard these kids talking in class about how they were going to fight after school at 3.30. We get out of school at 3 o'clock, and they were going to go down to the sewer thing and going to beat each other up. And you know, I was just sitting there listening. I wasn't, I wasn't even really thinking much of it, and uh... We got out of class, and I didn't hear anything after that. So later on that day, and by later on, I mean 30 minutes later, my brother and I walked over there to see if they were actually going to do it, and there was nobody there. We, we were like, where'd they go? I guess everybody wimped out. What's up with that? Nobody knows. I was like, hey, what's up with that? I wanted to go with my phone, record it all shaky, you know, like world star, world star, world star, world star, you know, that kind of thing. Because apparently that's the only way in this industry, and by industry I mean YouTube, to gain any sort of freaking notoriety. But anyway, my brother and I walked home in the cold, and there that was the end of it. That was it. No fight happened, and we didn't see anybody down there, actually. There was nobody there. But that was like a disgusting, dirty sewer. I don't know why they'd pick that spot to fight. It's like, there's like trash all over, and it's underneath an, it's an underpass, but with a sewer. And uh, it's, it's just disgusting. This is the place that they do their weeds. You know, it's like underground, secretive, freaking mob deal association shit, right, going down over here. And uh, I only know about this because I, I know I know some people on the inside, you know what I mean? And a week before this happened exactly, I was at the skate park with my friend Matt, and there were a bunch of uh, kids skateboarding, you know, doing their, doing their flippity-flop tricks, you know what I mean? And there was this five-year-old kid there with his older brother. Um, I would guess his older brother was like... 15, 16 maybe? Um, there were a lot of kids, 17, 16, there were a couple of adult men there. Uh, I don't know what they do, I see them there all the time, they just kind of sit there and, uh, oh, one of them has a dog, so I guess that's cool. And these kids were not very good kids, to say the least. Um, they were drinking, smoking, I mean, I don't really care that much, but these kids were beating up this five-year-old, and uh, it was it was going down, I mean, going down. And none of these adult men were doing anything about it. They were just standing there like, Oh, get that kid out of the way, man. You, you guys, you guys, I don't know whose brother that is, but you should get him out of the way because I'm trying to skateboard over here. And I'm like, dude, they're beating this kid up. He's got a bloody face. You don't see that? It, or is everyone here except for me blind? So I went up to one of these kids. Um, he kicked him off of his skateboard. He kicked this little kid off of his skateboard. He was riding around on his butt. He, he just went up and kicked him. And I was like, dude, you can't just kick a kid. You can't do that. What what reason do you have to justify this action? And he's like, dude, he, he said fuck you to my mom. And I'm like, that doesn't matter. He's five years old. You don't deserve to be here. Leave.
And he was kind of like, oh, whatever. And then we just kept skating, did our own thing for a while. But then, like, I don't know, I'd say like an hour later, he actually held this kid down, this five-year-old kid, and started punching him in the face. And this was the last straw for me. These kids have been bullying this kid for hours, and I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of hearing him crying. I'm tired of hearing these kids being fucking assholes to this kid. So my friend Matt and I, we go up and confront one of these kids, and Matt, he's he's not as nice as I am, you know. In person, he's a really nice guy, but when it comes to stuff like this, to stupid shit like this, dealing with stupid pricks, he's not he's not gonna go easy on him. I was basically there next to Matt just to prevent a fist fight, pretty much. And Matt, no joke, said to this kid, how would you like it if we beat your ass? And this kid was like, well, you can try, but... And that was, that just pissed me off, I'm not gonna lie. This kid was built like a fucking rhino. He's like, really soft, he acts tough. You could tell he was shaking, It's it was pretty obvious, it was pretty evident. Um, Actually, a rhino is not a good term. I was I was meaning like a weak rhino, like maybe a baby rhino. I don't know. Um, I, maybe a snowman's a better way to put this. But anyway, and this is the point when Matt's inner Utah redneck comes out, and he says, "I ain't gonna mind my goddamn motherfucking business, you piece of shit." And I was like, "Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn!" World star! World star! Anyway, this is when I decided, hey, uh, Matt, let's just go, uh, you know, get some food, in quotes. And uh, so we left the skate park. I drove off. I was steaming still. And uh, we called the cops. We, we parked around the corner, called the cops. And that was the end of it. I didn't hear anything after that. I mean, I got a call back later from the police station and asking for more details about myself. But other than that... Um, there wasn't really anything else that happened. I didn't hear anything about what happened to the kid or if he's okay or anything. But I do know that a couple days later, I saw the same kid that was bullying him um, skating back over there with a couple of his friends. So I'm guessing nothing happened, and I hope that kid's all right. But anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a subscribe button on the comments. Anyway, bye! I'll see you later, and like this video if you want more of these type of videos. Peace out.